Hello, this is a showcase of my new VRChat free asset called Footstep or Footstep SVX. It's very simple footstep implementation for VRChat avatars, which allows you to play any footstep sound while you're walking and crouching. So for this showcase, I'm going to show you what you're going to get from the Gumroad store. As you can see, by default, you have seven meme sounds which you can select. And to make sure that footstep it works, just select any button. And if it's enabled, you're going to hear the footstep sound. Let's check another examples. The last two sounds, Stone and Physics from Gary Smart, works well when you disable any walking animation. And if you use Google Locomotion on your avatar, just go to Google Locomotion menu down here and make sure that Orange Feet is enabled. And now let's go back and enable a Stone sound effect. Okay, what about a physics? Also, I made sure that when you do bunny hopping on crawling, the footstep sound effects will work too. For example, Now let's go to the Unity and understand how to set up it and add your custom sounds. Before we're going to start, if you're interested in the avatar which I'm using for this video example, I'm going to leave a model link in the description. So first things first, you need to import the package called Avatar 3.0 Manager, which you can find in VRChat Creator Companion. It's really important because we're going to merge some parameters and animations with the current avatar. Then you import my footstep asset. And if you go to a main folder, Artyom's footstep, you're going to find the main folder with all assets which we're going to use. So first of all, let's import the prefab. And to do so, open the hierarchy on your avatar and just drag and drop to the, to the name of the avatar. In my case, it's read very poor. And when you're going to import it, it's going to appear in the right place. And as you can see, we have some kind of audio source and it has some limits in the dist in distance. Of course, you can change minimum and maximum distance and maybe tweak some things, but in most of cases, I suggest you to tweak only the volume if you need. So 0.3 is supposed to be a good volume for most of the players. So it's not going to be too loud or too low. And then you can change uh, 3D sound settings such as a minimum and maximum distance. Now it's time to merge parameters and animation layer. To do so, go to VR Labs and Avatars 3.0 Manager. So you're going to receive this window. Now it requires to select the avatar and just drag and drop your avatar which you're working right now. And now we have some folders. In first things first, we're interested in FX layer. This is where all magic happens. So open it. As you can see, you're going to have some parameters from your current avatar, but we are interested in the bottom of it, where we have the button called Add Animator to Merge. So when you click on it, you're going to see that it requires some kind animator controller to merge. And as you can see, we have this footsteps underscore FX animator controller in this folder. So drag and drop here, and it's going to say which parameters are going to be added first 
two are default parameters which VRChat uses and of course a footstep so you can change sound effects in the main menu. And let's click merge and current. I'm going to wait a little bit. And if you want to make sure that it's actually merged, select your avatar, go to your FX animator controller, double click. And then if you go to parameters down below, you, you will find out velocity, grounded footstep. And if you go to layers and down, you're going to see we have a footstep here. Now we need to do one thing before we're going to move forward and we need to revive a driver parameters. I'm not really sure if it's Unity bug or AV3 manager, but when you merge the animator, the V, for example, any driver from VRChat, for example, animator play audio doesn't have any parameters which I said before. But in this case, we're going to revive it with some black magic. And if you're going to notify, we have footstep effects driver in the folder, and that's pretty much a pre set for this one. So if you want to apply the preset, just hover where the animator play audio says, go to the right side, there's going to be icon which looks like a settings, middle one between question mark and three dots, and then it requires you to select the preset. And as you can see, just select this one and close the window, and here you go. All parameters are in the place. And you pretty much can guess how audio plays and how you can set up your custom sound, but that's going to be a little bit later in this video. Now let's come back to AV3 Manager and this time we're going to this tab called Parameters. And now we need to add one parameter to this avatar so you can select any sound through main menu. As you can see, down below we have parameters to copy. So we need to select expression parameters. And as you can see, we have footstep parameters. Just drag and drop here and it says additional cost is eight because there's only one integer which we're going to use. Then press copy parameters and now as you can see, we have a footstep. And now the last thing is to add the sub menu to the avatar. In this case, you can go to the main menu of the avatar. And then here you can add another one, but in this case I already have it, but I'm going to do it again. So you can press to add a new control and make sure it's called footstep or anything. It doesn't really matter. And make sure that the type is sub menu and, and we need to select which sub menu is going to be. And now we're going to select footstep menu, drag and drop right here. And here you go. And now if you're going to check inside, we already have some parameters so we can enable specific sounds to play. And congrats! you just added a footstep system to your VRChat avatar. And now if you're curious how I can test in the Unity before I'm going to upload to VRChat, from the VRChat creator companion, you can get a gesture manager. And it's really simple to add. Just go to a tools, a gesture manager emulator is going to add this prefab and then we're going to click it and enter play mode. So I'm going to wait a little bit. All right, now it's loaded and let's go to expressions. And now we have footstep menu. And now let's say I want to play a squidward sound effect. It doesn't work yet because we need to give any velocity for the avatar. And now uh, I'm going to go to the scene view and let's go to the main radial menu. And in the options, you can find locomotion and the velocity. And also make sure it's grounded to properly test if it works. Now you need to like press it and move it at least forward. And as you can see, you can hear a Squidward sound effect. If you want to stop it, you need to kind of make it precise centered. And here you go. And now let's select any different one. Let's say I want to use a Mr. Crab sound effect. Go to the options, like a motion, velocity. Yep. And as you can see, it works as needed. Also, it's very important on where your main camera is located because in some cases, if if your main camera locates too far away, you're not going to hear any sound because sound comes not from the scene view, but it comes from the game view. So in this case, make sure that the camera is at least in the range of the audio source and then you're going to hear any sound. Now the last part of the video, how can I add my custom sounds? It's very simple and, and also you can change some logic here and not only import the audio. So in this case, you can see I have eight elements. First element starts with zero, which is go for silence. So if you're going to use a main menu to choose a sound effect, you need to make sure that the element zero is going to be silence because by default, the footstep parameter is going to be zero. And when you're going to change a footstep parameter for the main menu, let's say uh, one, two, three, four, five is going to change to one, two, three, four, five and etc. If you're going to change sounds, but you still want to use the main menu to select which sound to play, then you need to make sure that you 
added all elements as you need it, then you need to go to footstep menu and make sure that parameters also say also changed here and the name because by default is going to be like this but let's say you don't really want to have among us you want to change among us a sound effect to something else then you go here drag and drop your audio right here and then make sure that is right element which you want to use then go back to the menu and make sure that it's the name is changed or maybe any kind of parameter is changed too but what about if i want to make it random it's very simple and top of that we have playback order as you can see this driver uses parameter thing and if you're going to click it we're going to have other parameters we we, we can choose for example here we have this random this is going to play back in random order when you're going to start walking and of course if you don't really need a silence anymore you can just click it and remove it and then you're going to have only those seven elements and when you're going to start walking a random sound is going to be applied for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to add one sound effect so you understand the workflow how to do it. So I imported a random sound and let's say I want to add two existing uh, clips. So I need to press plus to add another element. It's going to duplicate from above, which is fine. And now what you need to do is drag and drop right here. And now the sound in the list. If you're using playback or the random, then you don't need to do anything else. But if you still want to use a main menu to select which sound you want to play, then you need to make sure that you go back to the sub menu. And in my case, I have one more controller to add. And I'm going to choose, for example, test and make sure it's toggle. And the parameter is going to be footstep and how do we know which number to use it's very simple so since it's element 8 then the integer is going to be 8 so let's go back to the menu and just write it down 8 and now here you go and that's it for now i hope you're going to enjoy this lovely vr chat asset and if you're going to have any issues and you need some assistance make sure to join my discord server and i will try to help you out there on this note have a great day and goodbye